In today's video, we will be going through the process of downloading and installing VMware Fusion for macOS environment. So let's get to it. All right. So like I mentioned in today's video, we will be going through the process of downloading and installing VMware Fusion uh, on macOS environment. All right. So VMware Fusion is a virtualization software that was created by firmware and you can use it to create your virtual machines in macOS environment so if you have firmware fusion you can create virtual machines for windows operating systems uh, linux operating systems uh, you can also even create macOS virtual operating systems on top of firmware fusion so in today's video we will be going through the process of downloading and installing this on macOS environment all right, so let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, just go ahead and uh, type firmware fusion and you will see a number of options here. I think you can pick any of this, but I'm going to choose this one for firmware, uh, where it says desktop hypervisor solution. So I'm just going to open this on a new tab and it will bring me to this section here and I will go ahead and hit download fusion or workstation. So I'm going to open this on a new tab as well. And as you can see here, it's bringing me to this page and uh, i'm logged in to my account right now so just to show you i'm going to log out and sh show you how you will probably see it when you open it again so i'm just going to do that again uh, open this on a new page and you will see here that it is taking me to broadcom okay so in 2023 november uh broadcom uh, acquired firmware so previously i think it was uh dell that was uh providing firmware solutions but uh, since 2023 november uh, it has moved to broadcom because broadcom acquired firmware solutions so now you will need to log into your broadcom account if you have one but if you don't have one uh, and you will need to create one uh, just go right here uh, in the top right corner here where it says login if you uh, click this arrow here you will see two options here one for login and one for registering so if you don't have an account just go ahead and uh, uh, register for this so you'll need to put your email address here and then enter the capture text here uh, go ahead and finish the rest of the registration i think uh, it requires your name your address your um uh, the company so you can enter your personal email address here or you can also enter your company email address if you have one uh, i just put in my personal email address here and uh, went through the rest of the registration process so you can follow that i'm not going to do it and once you have your account created just go ahead and log in so i'm just going to log into my personal email address right here and i will get logged in so i'm just going to do that right here all right so once you sign in you will now come to this page here so you will see your broadcom website i mean uh, uh yeah you will see your broadcom account right here um so this is how the overall website looks like and if you go here uh you know it's actually very confusing once you log in because there's no straightforward way of uh, downloading firmware products so it took me a little bit to figure that out and once you're here uh you know if you go to you will see firmware solutions here and uh you won't even you know there's no straightforward way of downloading firmware solutions so the the overall website for broadcom is a bit confusing on how to download the product so um it took me a while uh but to actually download it all you have to do is go here where it says support portal and go to your portal okay so once you go to your portal uh you will of course be signed in if you are not signed in and once you're there uh you will see now this is basically your portal uh your support portal and next to your account you will see this option here or where you know it says i think the icon here might be different uh, for different accounts but it should be next to your account and you will see a number of options here in the drop down section you want to go to firmware cloud foundation that's where you'll find your uh firmware fusion product so just go ahead and hit this uh firmware cloud foundation okay uh w once you do that you might see a page like this uh you can ignore this and go to my downloads okay 
so once you go to downloads again you'll go there and then just go to my downloads uh once you hit vmware cloud foundation all right so the products now that you need to download for your firmware uh will be in this section so all you uh, all you have to do now from here is just go ahead and uh, identify the product you that you want to download for us we are downloading firmware fusion if you're on windows and you want to download uh the same uh, fashion i think that that one for windows will be firmware workstation pro so you will need to download this one if you're using windows uh or you can also use the firmware workstation play as well um i think that's actually this one actually is the free version if i am not wrong this one you have to pay this one i believe is the free version if you're using windows all right so we'll go ahead and uh, hit um firmware fusion because we are on mac environment so just hit firmware fusion and uh, here it's going to bring you to the uh, fashions for firmware fusion you do have a number of them so you have fashion 11 12 13 and you also have fashion 13 for personal use so this is the one that we are actually going to download this one for personal use so i'm hope i'm going to uh, click this and we will take the latest release for this so i'm going to open this in a new tab and uh, right here i think once this one loads you will see an option to uh check uh, agreement here so there will be a license agreement somewhere here but i downloaded it before and i already did that so i think it's not showing me again uh so just check the button if you see it here and now to download the product itself just go ahead and hit this uh download here https download so if you click that it will start your download and it's going to download your dmg file so that should not take long and uh once that is done we can proceed and uh install uh the product okay so we'll let it download all right so it is done downloading and all you have to do is you can go to the folder if you click the folder it will bring you obviously it will be in downloads so you can see it in downloads uh or you can also i believe if you go back to that folder right here you can also hit here where it says open directly okay so this will launch your uh, dmg file and from here you can basically double click it to install a uh, fusion on your environment okay so this is going to start and you can see here it says firmware, firmware fusion is uh, an app downloaded from the internet uh, do you want to allow it i'm going to open it if you see something different here i think you might see an option for you to enter license and there will be an option for running it uh, for personal use so choose that option if that window pops up for you i remember it might have popped it for me when i was downloading i mean when i was installing it uh the first time if you see it uh you don't need to worry about the license just choose the option for uh, personal use and you don't need to enter any license key okay so i'm going to open this and enter my password all right and this should uh start your installation process uh right here okay so once that one is done you will see uh your firmware fusion now has started okay all right so this is your firmware fusion and from here i think you can uh, go ahead and install your fagile machine so if you have any iso image uh in your environment i believe i have one for uh Yupantu. uh so let's see if we can actually install that so let's go ahead and so you can see here i i have uh, a Yupantu live server um i'm 64 downloaded so i just went ahead i mean i just downloaded this one straight from the uh, Yupantu website and uh make a note if you're using if you use if you want to download you want to um uh iso image uh make sure that you download for mac i think uh on uh, uh mac only runs with arm 64 so if you do the the other one for x x86 it's not going to download it so i just go to you plan to for arm and if you hit download here you will see the options here so you can choose the server or the uh a desktop version of this so if you go to desktop uh you will see it here 
uh but i think i just wanted to download the server uh, for arm all right so just go ahead and uh download that image um and once you have it downloaded just make a note of this this is you want to suffer for arm uh this is for uh, specifically for mac uh, and then so download this and uh, let's go ahead now and um run this so all you have to do i mean you can drag you can basically drag the image from your downloads or from whichever folder you've put it uh drag it here and then basically proceed with the installation process so just go ahead and hit finish this is going to um create a virtual machine in your uh in this folder right here go ahead and save it and this should be able to start your vm uh instance all right so i'm not actually going to show you in this video the rest of this process i think we will do it in the next video because i don't want this video to go for too long uh but basically that's how you do it so you can proceed from here and install your uh you plan to server uh, i think stay tuned for the next video i will go through the rest of this process and complete installing you plan to server in vmware fusion all right but again in this video i just wanted to show you how to install vmware fusion in your mac os environment the process should be pretty straightforward and uh, i hope you found this video helpful uh, and if you did please do subscribe to the channel and uh, give thumbs up all right so as you can see this one is already starting for me uh, uh and uh you know it's it, it might take a long uh it might take longer to set it up so i don't want to extend this video for far further than it, it is already uh so definitely do stay tuned for the next video where i will go through the process of finishing uh installing you to server in vm uh, where fusion all right guys that's all i had for you in this video uh i will see you next time Bye bye